Hello, this is my YouTube channel, Engineering Simple. Today I would like to provide some helpful tips before submitting your PE, Electrical and Computer Engineering Power application. So the first thing you want to do is check your state website for instructions on submitting the PE Power application. Print all required forms. It may be helpful to save them into a file on your computer for later use. Check if your state allows taking the PE test prior to completing four years of experience. Some states will allow you to take the test before you complete four years of experience. But if you pass, you do not get the, certifi the PE certification until you, you complete four years of experience. Some states, they don't allow you to take the PE test unless you have four years of experience. After carefully reading the instructions on filling out the PA Power application, note how many references you need to fill out and sign your forms. Some states might require forms filled out by PE and non-PE references as well as all previous bosses. Identify who you need to send the reference forms to and contact them. If any of your references switch jobs, see if you can contact them via Facebook or LinkedIn. Once you have all forms filled out and you are ready to submit your application per your state's requirements, register with nceeds.org. Basically, you are going to create an account where once you take the PE test, that's where they're going to post the results. If you have a friend or a coworker who can lend you their NCES PE power sample example, it would be helpful if you cannot borrow one, it is worth buying. Basically, the NCEES PE Power Sample Exam, it has all the topics that could potentially be on the test. So you want to make sure you, you are familiar to a certain extent with those topics. Check mark all topics you have references books for. For those topics you do not have reference, references for, decide on whether you want to buy them or just use Google search. Make sure you have a copy of NEC and NESC that will be used for the test. Make sure you have the right version because say like you're going to take the PE test in 2019, in 2019 the latest revision of NEC and NESC is 2019 but the test usually covers it goes back one year or two so it might use uh, NESC 2018 or 2017 so when it, you want to make sure you have the right uh, the right revision if you like to be taught there are some companies that offer PA power preparation classes Based on your topic review, determine when you want to take the test, fall or spring. My recommendation is to allow at least four months for studying. Make sure you have some familiarity with all topics. Once you decide on when to take the test, submit the PE Power application and start studying. Keep track of your study on all topics in an Excel sheet, Word document, OneNote, etc. Make sure you cover all topics to some extent. Basically, uh, obviously, you do not have an infinite amount of time. You have limited time. You want to allocate your time properly. So, topics you are kind of familiar with, you want to spend less time on. Topics you are not familiar with, you want to spend more time on. So, you want to make sure at least you want to cover all topics. You don't want to leave any gap in your study, and because you don't, you really don't know what the test is going to cover so you don't want to focus on certain topics and not others check your state's website for the allowed resources to take to the test keep in mind you only have about six minutes per question do not take more than more than you can handle i have seen people bring in like more than three suitcases full of uh, books obviously you only have six minutes per question which suitcase to open which book to look at, you know, so it's it's going to be overwhelming. 
During the test, if you do not know an answer to a question, you can skip and go back to it later. And keep in mind, answers are multiple choice. I hope you find these tips helpful. Stay tuned and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Engineering Simple. I will post videos with PE power practice examples and electrical engineering topics. My YouTube channel is Engineering Simple. And if you have any questions or would like to know more about a certain topic in electrical engineering, please email me at engineering, uh, sorry, engineering simply at gmail.com. Thank you, and good luck studying for the PE uh, exam, and good luck passing.